Daniel 12, 4 through 13. Devotional focus verse. But go thou thy way till the end be, for thou shalt rest and stand in thy lot at the end of the days. Daniel 12, 13. There is a group of people in the United States called preppers who are identified that way because they are focused on preparing for the end of the world or some other great apocalyptic event. They stock up on guns, ammunition, food, water, and generators. Some build underground bunkers with air filtration systems or buy homes on secluded islands or in remote areas where they can live off the grid. One business executive invested in a 15-unit underground apartment complex, selling all of the units at a hefty price except one he retained for himself. Some preppers have helicopters fueled and ready for immediate departure if disaster strikes in their locality. Others have bags of gold coins stashed away for use in the event that paper money becomes worthless. One of these individuals recently stated, My current state of mind is oscillating between optimism and sheer terror. Worry over survival readiness is constantly on the minds of these people. Certainly, it is prudent to be prepared for emergencies and natural disasters. Earthquakes, hurricanes, tornadoes, and floods occur with some frequency in parts of our world, so suitable preparedness is good stewardship. And we know from the book of Daniel and other places in scripture that a time of great trouble is ahead for this world. However, the best preparation that we can make for the end times or any type of crisis is spiritual preparation. If we have established and maintained a close relationship with God, we have taken the right steps to ensure a secure eternal future where we will ultimately be safe in his care. In our text today, Daniel was told by God to shut up the words regarding the end times and not worry about what was ahead. It had been revealed to Daniel in the verses just prior to our text that a future time of trouble was coming and Israel would be at the center of these events. However, Daniel was encouraged to go on with his life and the plans God had for him. As Christians today, we can learn from the words given to Daniel in our focus verse. God had a course he wanted Daniel to complete, and Daniel needed to remain focused on that. Like him, we should follow the plan God has for us and obey his leading. There is a rest provided for the people of God, a place of perfect security. As we keep our hearts pure and holy before the Lord, We do not need to fear the terrible things that will happen after Jesus returns. We expect to escape the great tribulation that will come upon this world. Our hope is in a bright future ahead with the Lord. Background Information After receiving a wide scope of revelation in previous chapters, in this concluding chapter, Daniel was told to seal the book until the end of time. See verse 4. In verses 5 through 8, the timeline given refers to the last three and a half years of the tribulation period. In verses 9 through 13, the angel reassured Daniel that after he died, he would be resurrected at the end of time to stand with his people, the Jews, and see all these things fulfilled. Daniel's sealing of the book in verse 4 could have a twofold meaning. In one sense, Sealing would preserve the book from being altered. The angel told Daniel to seal the book to the time of the end, when knowledge would be increased and man would be better able to understand Daniel's revelation. The Hebrew meaning of the phrase shall run to and fro is to push forth, to row, by implication to travel. Some Bible scholars suggest that modern advancements in modes of travel and technology are a fulfillment of verse 4 and an indication that the end is drawing nigh. Others believe that the phrases run to and fro and knowledge shall be increased have more to do with the search for knowledge of the scriptures, thus gaining a better understanding as the end draws near. 
Both of these interpretations could be applicable to this verse. In verse 5, it seems that Daniel was standing by the Tigris, or Hittical, river. See Daniel 10, 4, when he saw the two angels standing on opposite banks. One of the angels addressed the man clothed in linen. See the earlier reference in Daniel 10, 5 through 6, and asked, How long shall it be to the end of these wonders? Although the second angel did not participate in the exchange, he may have been fulfilling the concept that two witnesses were required to establish an oath. The man clothed in linen responded that it would be for a time, one year, times, two years, and a half, half a year. This was a reference to the last three and a half years of the Great Tribulation period. Based on a lunar calendar of 360 days, which was used by the Jews, this was a period of 1260 days. By the end of that period, the Jews, or holy people, would be scattered and Daniel's revelation would be fulfilled. In verses 9 through 10, Daniel was told that these prophecies would be closed up and sealed and not understood until the time of the end. Many would come to know the Lord and would understand, but the wicked would not understand. Verse 11 refers to the beginning of the last half of the tribulation period when the Antichrist will set himself up as God in the third temple in Jerusalem and cause the daily sacrifices to cease. See Daniel 9, 27 and 2 Thessalonians 2, 4. Scholars believe that the extra 30 days in verse 11, from 1260 days to 1290 days, may be the time of cleansing the earth and judging of the nations. See Matthew 25, 31 through 46, before the start of the millennial reign. Those who come to the 1335 days, see verse 12, may refer to those who will govern with Christ during his reign. In verse 13, the angel told Daniel to live out his life and then rest as he waited to be resurrected at the end of time to participate with his fellow Jews in Christ's millennial kingdom. Conclusion Eternal life awaits those who have made proper spiritual preparation. As Christians, when the end comes, there will be no need for extra food or a secure shelter. We will forever be with our Savior and the giver of all good things. But thou, O Daniel, shut up the words, and seal the book, even to the time of the end, many shall run to and fro, and knowledge shall be increased. Then I Daniel looked, and, behold, there stood other two, the one on this side of the bank of the river, and the other on that side of the bank of the river. And one said to the man clothed in linen, which was upon the waters of the river, How long shall it be to the end of these wonders? And I heard the man clothed in linen, which was upon the waters of the river, when he held up his right hand and his left hand unto heaven, and swear by him that liveth for ever that it shall be for a time, times, and in half, and when he shall have accomplished to scatter the power of the holy people, all these things shall be finished. And I heard, but I understood not, then said I, O my Lord, what shall be the end of these things? And he said, Go thy way, Daniel, for the words are closed up and sealed till the time of the end. Many shall be purified, and made white, and tried, but the wicked shall do wickedly, and none of the wicked shall understand, but the wise shall understand. And from the time that the daily sacrifice shall be taken away, and the abomination that maketh desolate set up, there shall be a thousand two hundred and ninety days. Blessed is he that waiteth, and cometh to the thousand three hundred and five and thirty days. But go thou thy way till the end be, for thou shalt rest, and stand in thy lot at the end of the days.